Hey, what's up guys? So it's been a minute since I've posted a video and it's because it's been a holidays, celebrated a birthday last week, been doing a bit of traveling and also hosting here at our crib in Brooklyn. But your boy's back and actually it's a beautiful day. So I wasn't sure if I was gonna make this video just uh, like in the studio, AKA like the second bedroom as the main shooting environment. But since it's a 50 degree day, and it's Thursday, which is like my favorite day of the week. I might as well make this into more of a lifestyle video and we'll talk about the Mac setup. Of course, we have a really cool sponsor. Thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring today's video. We'll talk more about Fiverr in just a minute, but I'm just happy to be posting a YouTube video. All right, so in the last video, I have braids and I did have braids on and off for about like three weeks to a month but I'm gonna take a break from braids. My hair's still not long as I like it to be, so you probably won't see braids from me for the next six months. So I'm just gonna really just grow out a fro and have like a lower taper. Like I mentioned earlier, in today's video, we're gonna be going through my productivity and developer setup for my new 14 inch M3 Pro MacBook Pro. <laughs> Why'd I say it like that? So if you're someone who's got the new M3 Pro or you're just curious or maybe you just bought a new macbook this is definitely a video for you but before we get started i want to take a moment to talk about today's sponsor fiverr thank you to fiverr for sponsoring this portion of today's video have you ever been at work doing something outside of your scope thinking dang i wish we had a guy for this well fiverr is a great online marketplace that solves that problem by connecting freelancers with businesses as a freelancer using fiverr can be highly beneficial it provides a convenient way to showcase your skills find clients and get paid for your work and of course in the industry of tech showing your work and actually creating is the most important thing fiverr could be an amazing way to jumpstart your career as a developer or a designer. Additionally, Fiverr offers a secure payment system and provides a platform for freelancers to build their reputation through customer reviews and rating. Whether you're a freelancer looking for work or a client in need of quality services, Fiverr is a viable platform that facilitates successful collaboration. I myself recently used Fiverr to hire a product designer to give my website a facelift. Now I know those of you all who've been following my channel the past few years, I've been going back and forth with redesigning and rebuilding my website side for a long time. The main reason why I haven't committed fully to recreating my website is because I honestly didn't know where to start with my design and that's where Fiverr has played a huge role. Luckily, I found a great freelance Fiverr professional who specializes in UI design to create a Figma design for my updated website and kind of rebrand. The delivery of my Fiverr service was really seamless. My freelancer offered unlimited revisions, which was really clutch. And as you can imagine, the first draft wasn't perfect, but with a few tweaks, my website was designed to my liking within a few days. One thing I've really enjoyed about working with Fiverr freelancers and Fiverr in general is just their commitment to delivering professional services. Working with professional freelancers that offer excellent customer service, responsive communication, and delivering what I'm actually looking for. And even though I was working with a freelancer, it felt like a mini team because not only were we communicating on the app, but we were also communicating and commenting on design choices within Figma that really gave me that feel of honestly what it's like in my nine to five. If you're in need of freelance services like product design, digital marketing, SEO, software engineering, be sure to click the link in my description box to sign up for Fiverr services today. And once again, thank you to Fiverr for sponsoring this portion of today's video. So I just got a cut. It's weird getting a cut in the middle of the video because I'm like, do people notice that I got a haircut? But I didn't even really get a haircut. I just got like a slight taper and I didn't take anything off the top because I'm growing my hair the next six months. But I'm here in Williamsburg and when in Williamsburg, I got a vlog, right? Like, look at, look at this place. It's probably my favorite neighborhood in Brooklyn, which is really cliche to say, but it is what it is. So what I'm about to do right now is I'm going to run to like a small like cafe just to grab like a coffee and maybe like a I don't really want a pastry I'm not really feeling sugar right now like I want an actual meal but since we weren't home for Thanksgiving Lee made Thanksgiving food and it was so good but I'm not gonna be home probably for like the next hour so I'm probably just gonna grab a coffee 
maybe grab like some small snack and then i'm gonna take the whip to greenpoint to this really like aesthetic coffee shop and my last video i said that i got the 14 inch because i wanted to have a lighter weight laptop when i'm on the go just to be a little bit more portable got the tote this tote is from Kaz. it's like a quilted tote the strap is really nice and secure and in here i have my camera tiny tripod and i have my 14 inch and it wasn't too heavy so you're starting to see the decisions i make <laughs> in real life So the first thing I customized for my new MacBook Pro is hiding the dock. Simply go to system preferences and search for dock. Then toggle automatically hide and show the dock. I know that's not the most innovative customization for your MacBook Pro, but for me, it makes a huge difference, especially when I'm looking at my external displays and my desktop is a lot cleaner, more minimal, limits distractions, along with the fact that I'm switching from a 16 inch to a 14 inch. So I enjoy having that like about an inch of screen real estate. The first productivity essential app I install for all my MacBooks is Magnet. In order to multitask with multiple apps open, it's important to have your windows arranged accordingly. After installing Magnet, you can configure it to open when you log in to your computer and you can find it in your menu bar. So what I like about this layout manager opposed to some other ones I've used in the past or the built-in layout manager that the PCs have is the fact that you can select the window that you want to control then you can select the menu bar select the magnet app and then you can dictate where you want to place that window on your display i've noticed with other like snap tools like window layout snap tools it's almost impossible for me to snap a window to a corner or an edge of the display that borders another display which is really frustrating. So this is the best tool I've used. The next app I wanna briefly talk about is the Manacle tool that is designed to help you switch between apps. You can simply select the Alt button and all of your active windows will display in the middle of the screen with a key that corresponds with that app. This app is Spotify, it's pretty straightforward. My favorite music app, especially for when I wanna to listen to lo-fi music while working. So Flow is a digital timer that I've used for a long time that I've actually come to realize is not just an app to help keep you focused as a Pomodoro timer, but it also reinforces taking breaks, which is something I struggle with, especially when I'm in that flow state. So when it's break time, flow covers your entire desktop with a timer for you to take a 10 or 15 minute break or however long you decide to make your break. Notion is my go-to workspace for everything from budgeting, travel plans, content calendar, and developer research. I don't have enough time to dive into Notion as much as I like, but I love if you can drop any Notion hacks or the name of any Notion templates that you're using now the one i've been using most recently is called the matcha vibe claim my mac is next this is a great tool to keep track of the health of your macbook along with reviewing large files to maximize your storage next is logi options plus which is an app dedicated to my logitech peripherals and i use it to customize the buttons on my mx master 3s and my logitech mx keys First step in our developer setup guide is to install our web browsers. Safari is cool, but personally, I never use it outside of my iPhone. Chrome is considered a good baseline browser for web development due to its extensive developer tools, compatibility with web standards, and support for modern web technologies. I love using Chrome's web inspector and extensions for React programming and other extensions that make it easy for me as a web developer and designer. Firefox is a great web browser to have for several reasons, privacy and security, high level of customization, 
and also its robust developer tools that are highly regarded in the web dev community. So the Mac default terminal is good. I use it all throughout college, but iTerm is better. The user experience and interactivity of iTerm is unmatched. It's a very simple UI, but has a lot of modern features. My favorite being split pane and the tip of the day. Terminals can feel like a black box with millions of features that are hard to figure out how to use. And I love that you can set notifications for daily iTerm tips and tricks. We don't just stop there with the terminal. I recommend downloading All My ZSH, which is an open source framework to manage your terminal configuration, giving you themes and thousands of helpful functions and plugins for your terminal. GitHub is absolutely necessary and I use it for sharing my work and working collaboratively through version control. If I were you, I'd sign up for two-factor authentication to have that extra layer of security. GitHub is a great way to save and manage your code. It provides version control, allowing you to track changes and collaborate with others. By creating a GitHub repo for your project, you can easily keep record of your work, share it with future employers, and contribute to open source projects. Homebrew is an important tool to install on your Mac because it allows you to easily install and manage software packages, libraries, and dependencies. It provides a convenient way to install command line tools, programming languages, and other software components that may be required for your web development environment. Homebrew simplifies the process of installing and updating software on your Mac, making it a viable tool for devs and other power users. And at some point in time, you're gonna come across needing Homebrew, so you might as well do it in the beginning. Last but not least, you'll need a text editor, and my recommendation is Visual Studio Code, which is a highly acclaimed and widely used source code code editor known for its versatility and powerful features that enhance the coding and experience for developers. So I think this is a good baseline for your developer setup guide for any developer and you can build off this setup based on which part of the stack you primarily code in. <laughs>